Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Lamplight City, where I think we're probably going to be starting a new case. We concluded the last one in the last episode, and I'm still a little bit gutted about the way that ended, to be honest. I don't know whether we chose the right option or not, um, whether it all went the way that we, we wanted it to go. I, I genuinely don't know, but... Um, we're going to try and figure that out in this one. Um, some of you guys have theorised that perhaps we're going to get a situation where some of the characters will make a comeback later in the game and then we'll know for sure what happened as a as sort of consequences of what we did. I'm not sure, but we um, we spoke to, to Addy last time, didn't we? And I think, from memory, uh, we were going to go upstairs to bed, I guess? I, I don't really know. Um, let us see. Who could that be at this time of night? Good question. But Adelaide can handle it for now. I need to take my medicine. You certainly have your priorities in order. Go on then. Get that bottle of rat piss out of your nightstand and let's get this over with. I, I kind of feel like we should go back downstairs, actually. Addy can handle whoever's at the door. I need to take my medicine. That that concerns me greatly. That could be somebody coming to cause a problem. Um, right. So, I mean, we had a look around this place in detail at the beginning of the first case, didn't we? Is the nightstand where the pills are is it even pills or is it like a, Ugh, a syrup tastes like the devil's sweat you could just stop taking it you know true bill now is not the time to miles could you come back out here please be right there dearest it's lucky we didn't take our clothes off to go to bed who was that at the door a late night courier you've got a message from upton oh okay so potentially this is going to be our next case Fordham, this case makes the last one look simple. Oh dear. Meet me at Ruin ASAP. It's urgent. Okay. Mm. Seems this case is rather urgent. She wants me to meet her as soon as possible. But didn't you just take your soporific? Are you going to be all right to oh, go? Oh yeah. It won't kick in for another hour or so. Should be plenty of time. All right. I'm going to bed then. Good luck, dear. Good night, Addy. An hour? That's very optimistic. All right, well, document added to the casebook. Um, literally back to blank, apart from me up to at the coffee house. It's lucky the coffee house is open at this time. I don't, I don't actually know what time it is, but it looks like it's getting to night time or is already night time. We've also got a blank map again, which is pretty cool. So let's go to the coffee house. Oh yeah, it's dark in here. Look at this. This place has got a weird vibe with the white lights. Uh, up. To Somebody sleeping. I thought it was a cat sitting there. Hello, Upton. I'm glad you came, Fordham. Sorry for disturbing you this late. Uh, so urgent you couldn't wait until morning. Shouldn't a respectable young lady like you be in bed by now? That seems... I know it's done in jest, but it seems a little bit patronizing. I'm curious to know what's so important that it couldn't wait until morning. An infant kidnapping in Lyon. Oh, the God. came in tonight just before my shift ended. The family wants to keep the investigation very low-key. They're afraid if word gets out, they'll have all sorts of ne'er-do-wells making false ransom claims. That's why I suggested they let you investigate first. Head over to 45 Belcourt Street. That's the home of Malcolm and Miriam Harris, the parents of the kidnapped boy. Uh, Harris is in Harris Construction Company. Harris? As in Harris Construction Company? The very same. Owned by Malcolm's father, no less. Now you see why they wanted to keep this out of the public eye. Indeed. If they manage to get a new transatlantic airship off the ground, it'll be an aura mine. I can see why they'd make an easy target. Mm-hmm. I mean, as a parent myself, this is like one of the worst nightmares you have as a parent, is that somebody takes your kid or something. Um, so this this one might be a little bit difficult for me at times. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, don't worry, Upton. I'll get the kid back before you can say hot toddy. Okay, I'm on it. I'll try and find him as soon as I possibly can. Okay, I'm on it. I'll try and find him as soon as I possibly can. Right. Good luck on your investigation. Come see me again once you've figured things out. Or if you just need to talk. I'll be here all day tomorrow as well. So feel free to stop by. Okay. We'll have to remember to do that because that was something we learned in the last case is that she occasionally has important information or directions she can point you in. So we'll have to do that. She's not just there to sum up the case to. So we'll... Um, I mean, I think we... This guy Sleep is... at a coffee house. One of life's little irons. <laughs> yeah, maybe he had some alcohol in that coffee or something. So I guess we're, we've only got one place to go, and that is to this place to find out what happened. Um, okay, the Harris residence it is. 
Mr. Miles Fordham is here to see you, sir. Very good, Mr. Havelock. Send him up. Yes, sir. Good evening to you, sir. Good evening, Mr. Fordham. I'm Malcolm Harris. I'm terribly sorry to hear about what's happened, Mr. Harris. Thank you, Mr. Fordham. You were very highly recommended by Miss Upton. She said you'd be able to solve this faster and more discreetly than the police. I admit it's a rather unorthodox approach, but we're desperate. I get that. I understand. I'll do all I can to find the kidnapper and bring your son back unharmed. If you'd like to examine the nursery, it's just through that door to the left. Okay. I'll ask you to please try and keep quiet as I just sent my wife to bed. Her nerves are rather shot, you see. Yes, of course. Oh, God. I really hope that if we mess this up, the kid doesn't die or something. That that would be bloody awful. Uh, right, okay. I know the hand and waistcoat pose is supposed to look stately, but to me, it, it always looks like the person is scratching themselves. <laughs> Never going to be able to look at pictures like that again now. Right, let's go to the nursery then. Then we'll have a look around this room. Uh, so, pictures could be a good place Bear's to start. Picnic. Something about a group of giant human-like bears eating together in the woods is slightly unsettling. Yeah, I get that. My friend Bunny. Yeah, I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want a giant imaginary rabbit for a friend. Fair. Oh, I've just noticed there's a broken window of some glass here. We'll check that out in a second. Anything in this chest? Ask. Get us a toy chest. My sister and I used to have to keep our toys buried in the backyard. <laughs> of course, that is because the only toys we had were dead rats. Dead rats, lovely. Um, let's have a look at the crib. Ah, a button, perhaps off the jacket of the person who took the baby? That's odd. Why is there a loose button in the crib? Now, I'm no expert on children, but it seems like it would be dangerous to have around an infant. Definitely. Uh... Ah, if only the flower shop burglar was as easy to find as this clue was. Yeah, I still wonder if we're going to find out more about that over the course of the, the game. Yeah, the kidnapper left the child's blanket behind. There doesn't appear to be any trace of the silver spoon. <laughs> very good, very good. Um, the mobile? Nice mobile. Custom made, too. There'll be no mistaking what family this child comes from. Oh, yeah, you can see the airships and things. That's pretty cool, actually. Um, let's just have a look. Nothing else there. I wondered if maybe we could pull the blanket up to see if there was anything underneath, but it oh, doesn't seem like it. Oh, dear. Oh, no. How ah, wonderful. The soporific has started working. Well done, Fordham. Now how are you supposed to... What's the word I'm looking for? What? Instigate. Uh, interrogate. I, uh, I, I just had it on the tip of my tongue. Perhaps it's time to call it a note. Interesting. So, as you would probably expect, we're getting to the point where we're getting drowsy and Bill's voice or narrative in our head is starting to struggle to speak. That's so peaceful, so quiet, so comfortable. That's interesting. But sleep is more interesting. <sighs> I don't know what to say to that. Well, we're getting really messed That's up. That's interesting. But sleep is more interesting to sleep a chance to dream all right we're gonna have to go home i think and sleep then well maybe that maybe we had to come here and find that button first no talking now he'll know it's all wrong okay well mr harris i believe i've done all i can for right now did you find anything yeah yes i I believe I have some leads I can pursue. But the most important thing to do in cases like this is wait to hear from the kidnappers. I'll be back tomorrow morning to continue my investigation and ask you and your wife some questions once you've had time to calm down a bit. In the meantime, I suggest you stay here and get some sleep. Well, I'll need it. So, one of two things has just happened. We've either found a clue which we could potentially have missed altogether. Maybe someone would have gone back and taken that button away. Or... Miles, wake up. It's nearly noon. Oh, God. Ah, so it is. Or we missed something because we weren't able to examine the scene Why properly. Why did you come to bed when you got home last night? It was late. I didn't want to disturb you. So what was so urgent about the case Upton sent you? I'm trying to track a kidnapped child. Oh my goodness, that's awful. Yes, 
The pressure's on, but I think I should be able to crack it. Assuming you actually managed to get anything done at the Harris Manor today. All right, Bill. Well, let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Also, we've got company. Mrs. Delacroix is having her hair done here today, so please make yourself presentable. You mean I'm not already? <laughs> at least do something about your hair. I do have a reputation to maintain, <laughs> after all. I think we're looking pretty snappy, personally. What's wrong with my hair? Yeah. Do you really want me to answer that? <laughs> We'll be here all day. It's nothing wrong with our hair. Oh, when you say it's time for a change of clothes, Miles, you've been wearing that coat for who knows how long. So? Addie gave it to me. Besides, it gives me character. Right. Brooding detective in a long black coat. That's never <laughs> been seen before. What are you talking about, Bill? Never mind. All right. Well, I, I, I don't think there's probably anything new to see in here, given that we looked around it as I said earlier in the game. So let's go back to... I've got, I'm really hoping that we haven't he said, missed an important oh. clue. H Hello there. I don't believe we've met. Hello. Mrs. Delacroix, this is my husband, Miles. Miles, this is Mrs. Delacroix. Pleasure to meet you, madam. Uh, likewise, young man. A uh, pleasure. Is Why? everything all right? Why is she Mrs. speaking Delacroix? like that? Hmm? Yes, yes, everything's fine. It's just that... Well, you weren't what I was expecting, is all. Keep your head, Miles. She may be a close-minded idiot, but she's just an old lady. <laughs> Alright, you mean the portrait over the fireplace didn't clue you in? What were you expecting, exactly? All of your clients this rude Adelaide. Uh, let's just go with the second one. I don't want to be too sassy. What were you expecting, exactly? Uh... Well... Come on, say it. <clears throat> now then, Mrs. Delacroix, what was it that you were telling me about Mr. Delacroix and his dogs? Oh, yes. So, Harold came in and said... Impressive. She got off pretty easy. I was expecting a repeat of the Parsons incident. You should give Adelaide a kiss on the way out, though, just to make the old bat feel extra uncomfortable. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds like a good idea. Um, can we take this newspaper? Maybe we should have a look at it and see if there's anything... Uh, Laura Dupre falsely reported dead. Um, there we go. Uh, new suspect. Ah, it looks like she won't ever recover, which is interesting. Um, protests at the airship yard continue. Um, interesting. So there's quite a bit going on in the news. Let's head back to the Harris residence. Yeah, as I was saying, let's kiss Adelaide goodbye just to make a feeling. Goodbye, dearest. I look forward to your return, my love. And away we go. Um, so I'm yeah, as I was saying, I really hope that there wasn't an important clue somewhere that's now gone missing because we didn't pick it up before the soporific kicked in, because that would be. Remind me, Miles. How was finding some rich people's kidnapped baby going to help us track down the flower shop burglar? It's all linked, I'm telling you. This isn't about the burglar, it's about helping people. We might find a lead to him during this investigation. Uh, I don't know, maybe it won't. It's not really about the burglar, though. It's about helping people. I'm not interested in the burglar right now. I want to help these people and get their child back. Or at the very least, help them find out what happened to him. Right. Well, you'll need your full wits about you if you plan on doing that. True. Uh, I feel fine, Bill. I can do this. I do have my full wits about me. I'm perfectly capable of doing this. Yes, and I'm perfectly capable of being alive. <laughs> I just choose to be this way because it saves on the laundry expenses. <laughs> you can't deny it. Uh, you need to stop taking the soporific, we, we, Miles. We probably do. That's, Adelaide has that's been fair. trying to get you to stop for months, and Upton already suspects something is amiss. Not to mention your little episode last night. Trust me, no one is going to want to hire the duller detective. Clever. Did you come up with that one all by yourself? What are you going to do when the cases stop coming in? How long before you get put away in Riverview? If I do get locked away, it'll be your fault. Which is exactly why you need to get back to your normal routine so you can find the burglar. I'm sure we will. Final stop, but if you keep me awake at night, uh, it doesn't mean we'll find the burglar tomorrow. Uh, final stop here only means I'll wake up earlier. All right, fine. I'll stop. But you know that doesn't guarantee we'll find the burglar any sooner. Yeah, I'm aware. But it increases the odds significantly. Maybe. Well, I'm glad that's settled then. I knew you'd see things my way eventually. It's not as though you gave me much of a choice. <laughs> In time, you'll thank me. 
Probably not before the withdrawal hits. Yeah, I was going to say, will there be withdrawals? Let me change my mind on this bill. So that could be an issue, couldn't it? Okay, we are back. Mr. Fordham, you're back. Allow me to introduce my wife, Miriam. Hello, Miriam. Hello. A pleasure, Mrs. Harris. I wish we could have met under better circumstances, but I assure you I'm doing all I can to find your son. Th thank you, Mr. Fordham. Mr. Harris, has there been any communication from the kidnapper? None at all. Well, I'll have another look around, if you don't mind. Okay, well, we are going to have another look around. We can potentially go into some of the other rooms and things now as well. So, uh, we found one clue. We're going to find more clues. Hopefully, we're going to have to have a look at this smashed window as well to see if there's anything to do with that that can help us out. But that is going to do it for this episode. So, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, and Barry Aldridge for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all next time.